Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We have been highlighting the importance of mental health and the support that so many people in our community need throughout the past month. Summit and Wasatch County have been doing such a fantastic job of addressing this issue, especially in light of some of the recent events we've had in the past 18 months right here in our own backyard. And I am thrilled to be joined by Richard Hatch, who is the program manager of the Wasatch County Family Clinic. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here on an early morning. Here. So for people that may not be aware of Wasatch Family Clinic, what are some of the services and supports that you provide for the community? So we're the local community mental health center in Wasatch County. So we provide services to both children, youth, adults, seniors, everyone for mental health and substance use disorder treatment. So we're comprehensive. We provide crisis services. We do a lot of outreach in the community. We provide services in the schools. Um, so we're, we're out and about. <laughs> we're out and about. <laughs> so I think so many people have really started to notice a trend in bringing this issue to the forefront of the discussion, whether it be in the public school systems, whether it be at the family dinner table. Unfortunately, there have been some instances where we no longer can sort of pretend that this isn't affecting someone that you know or someone that you love, whether it be in your family or not. Have you seen a rise in your practice of whether it be substance abuse or family seeking help or just having the discussion more openly? I think there has been a lot more discussion. And, you know, one of the things that we've, we've started in Wasatch County is actually a coalition similar to the Connect Summit County mm -hmm. Coalition where we're trying to just create awareness around mental health issues, um, suicide prevention efforts. Um, but there is a lot more people talking about it in the schools and the community. Um, and it's truly a, a, an important issue in our community. And it's a positive step because I think personally I've seen so many people not seek treatment or not reach out to fantastic resources like yourself just because of the stigma. There's a huge stigma and, um, and unfortunately a lot of people aren't even aware of resources that are available to them in their community. So hopefully getting the information out so people are aware that there are resources, that there are people that can work with them and, and that uh, recovery is possible. That and recovery is possible, absolutely. So talk to me about some of the events that you have coming up. So we're starting off with kind of a, a yoga and a stress reduction and nutrition. I love that, uh, so yes. So we're going to have a, a class where they'll be doing yoga and, um, and that'll be on May 1st. And that'll be held at the Intermountain Healthcare Building across from the Heber Valley Medical Center. Okay. So that's our first event kind of kicking things off on, on May 1st. We're also going to be providing two um, QPR class trainings and uh, QPR stands for question, persuade and refer and it's an evidence-based suicide prevention program. And it's meant for community members um, and just individuals that would like to, to know more about how to respond to someone. It's not training anybody to be a professional but it's just helping people be comfortable in, in that type of setting. Um, just as people are trained in CPR and know how to handle someone that might be having a cardiac event, QPR does the same thing in terms of helping someone deal with a mental health crisis. Well, and I think somebody from Connect made a really interesting point because that's a question, you know, are you suicidal or are you having those thoughts? People are so afraid to ask that. One, because they're afraid of the answer, I think. And two, because they don't even want to put that idea in their head. And the social worker that was here on the show previously said, if somebody's having those thoughts, you are not going to be the one to put it in their head. Exactly. Asking is more important. It's more important and, and the training helps you feel a little bit more comfortable about asking, but also uh, presents uh, opportunities and resources that you'd be able to then assist that individual with because there are resources available for people. So, Absolutely. So we'll be doing uh, one training that will be in Spanish for Spanish speaking and that'll be May 8th and that'll be at our community service building which is located with our uh, Heber City Police Department on Main Street. So that'll be May 8th um, from 6 to 7 30 p.m. and then we'll be doing an English class on May uh, 11th at the um, Wasatch County Health Department building. Fantastic, and I love that it's dual, dual language too, right. to support every member of the community that needs it. I also think it's interesting that you're kicking things off with a yoga class because I think sometimes people associate mental health that it has to be this very clinical and it has to be at a very severe point before people will seek treatment, but there really is a whole mind-body-spirit connection um, that's such a, an influential factor in people's lives. Exactly. Fantastic. So. We have one other event. Yep. Okay. We're going to be doing a, a screening of Beyond Silence, um, which mm -hmm. is a, a documentary film that documents three individuals and their experience with mental health issues. And then following that um, film, we'll be having a panel discussion. So that'll be May 10th, and that'll be held at the um, 
Wasatch County UVU Extension. Okay, creating a safe space to have a discussion. Right. And I'm sure all of these events can be found on your website? They're on our website and they're all free. All right, and what is the website for people who want to check it all out? Uh, Wasatch.org. Wasatch.org, and this is all free. We can't beat that. Richard, okay. thank you so much for coming in this morning. All right. Thank Another you. wonderful step forward in pushing the discussion of mental health and wellness within our community forward. I encourage all of you to go on Wasatch website and see all of the events that you can participate in. I'm sure there's someone near and dear to your heart who may be able to benefit. We're going to take a quick break here on the Mountain Morning Show, and then Tony Duffy from One Million Cups will be live in studio with this month's entrepreneurs. You won't want to miss it all happening right here on Park City Television.